So what we're unveiling here today is a partnership between Tritium, a technology leader in the charging space, and Gulbarco, who's you know, leading in the petrol dispenser and, and fuel services market segment. And together we're going to be you know, taking on a joint vision of, of uh, you know, bringing EV infrastructure into the convenience store world. How the charger works itself, we've made a, um, a real um, drive to try to get this, inf this interface very simple. Right, so it's just icons and this works all through Europe, it doesn't matter about the language. Um, and you just come up and it's telling you to plug into the car and so you either take the CCS plug, which is for most of the North American and European vehicles, or the Chatamo plug for the Japanese vehicles, plugged it into your car and it steps you along to the next step. You swipe, you push start and you can walk away uh, and it's locked into your car. So you can go off into the convenience store, you know, get a drink, get some coffee. Uh, while it's charging and then you can even check on your app most of the times to see how it's progressing once it's finished you can go back out or you can cut it short at any point in time you're adding about 50 kilometers range every 10 minutes that it's sitting there Gilboco has been looking at this market for well over a decade and we've been considering when the appropriate time to invest in an electric vehicle is as I say for at least 10 years we think the time is right now the industry's got a great deal of impetus. We're seeing countries taking increasingly strong stances on the changeovers between internal combustion engines and electric vehicles. And we're seeing, most importantly, increased consumer demand in electric vehicles. So we think the time is right now. Your question is, why did we choose this traditional design, something that looks very much like a dispenser? Well, I actually love the design. Uh, in fact, the truth is, we did not design it. Tritium, our partner, designed it. But I really do like the way it looks, and I think that our traditional fueling customers will be very comfortable with the design, um, being so familiar with it from fueling their vehicles. Uh, it's extremely important, and especially you know, with a cornerstone investment as well as actually a partnership, it means that we can go after this market and, and really uh, make a difference. And it's really important for EV, dri EV drivers too, because it's the thing that actually controls the buying decision. If they see that there's infrastructure out there, then they can make that buying decision to buy an EV. So this will actually drive the uptake. Over the last 12 months, we are seeing more and more uh, of the fuel services uh, market segments start to get into this space. So we've seen multiple acquisitions. We've seen uh, customers of ours actually start to, um, that are in the fuel services space, want to come and buy infrastructure from us. So yeah, it's starting to actually move now. The highest potential markets at the moment are in Europe and China because those have the fastest pace of adoption of electric vehicles and the adoption of legislation requiring electric vehicles. In the US, California follows fast behind that. So I think the initial focus for us is, is going to be those markets together with the rest of the US market given our presence in this market. But we do see other opportunities uh, and many markets are moving quite rapidly and we want to be at the forefront of that movement. We focused initially in the US and uh, principally Western Europe, but Gilbarco has a worldwide footprint. There are very few markets in the world, and I do mean the world, that we are not operating with a strong presence. And it's our intention to bring this product set and this technology to all of those markets.